Buddha's teaching, which rejects the life of the hereafter, is in grave error regarding life after death. Unfillable gaps thus arise in Buddhists' internal lives and deep wounds in their minds. Buddhist belief on this subject rests on the twin superstitions of reincarnation and karma. According to the belief in reincarnation, they are reborn in different bodies after death. In other words, a person returns to earth after he has died. According to the belief in karma, a person will inevitably be rewarded in his next life for all the things he does in the course of this one. To such an extent, in fact, that a bad person can even come back as a plant or an animal. If so, who judges a person's former life and sends him back into the world in a new body? How, according to this belief which denies the existence of God, does the process of karma work? Buddhists are unable to offer any rational reply to these questions. because there is nothing rational about their religion. Even if the philosophy of karma may appear at first sight to gain people some positive moral virtues, it in fact leads them to gravely mistaken ideas. According to this belief, people's helplessness, sicknesses and weaknesses stem from moral impurities and are supposedly a punishment for their deeds in a previous life. For example, the reason why someone is poor or handicapped is his behavior in a previous life. All the bad things that person did in his previous life come back as poverty in this one. In other words, it is well deserved. In Islam, however, people's weaknesses or problems are no crime. They are merely a test. And others are charged with helping such needy people. For this reason, Islam has a very strong sense of social justice. This attitude can also be found in Christianity and Judaism, which come from the same divine source. The belief in karma, on the other hand, which can be found in other Far Eastern religions, as well as Buddhism, demolishes the idea of social justice and leads to oppressed people being oppressed still further. The unjust caste system in India, which has been practiced for hundreds of years and divides society into groups, found its philosophical basis in the myth of karma. According to Islam, reincarnation is also a great myth. According to the Quran, there is a life in this world and an eternal life in the hereafter. It is impossible to come to earth more than once. 
In one verse, we are told the following about death and resurrection. How can you reject God when you were dead and then He gave you life? Then He will make you die and then give you life again. Then you will be returned to Him. Every human being is dead to begin with. In other words, the basis of human creation is inanimate substances such as earth and water. God later gives life to this inanimate mass. At a specific time after the individual has been brought to life, Life comes to an end, and he dies. This is the end of his life. He returns to the earth and decays back into the soil. That is the second time a human being enters the state of death. Finally, he will be resurrected in the hereafter and give account for everything he did in this world. In the Quran, God says that after a human being has come into this world, he will experience only one death. They will not taste any death there, except for the first one. He will safeguard them from the punishment of the blazing fire, a favor from your Lord. That is the great victory.